It may well be that they can't move. They can only do so if their lender agrees to allow them to actually pay the mortgage back and carry forward a shortfall. The other time when it's a problem is when people are coming to the end of a deal. But the bank's predictions still aren't as gloomy as some, which argue a 25% fall in house prices would mean more than 2 million households in negative equity. Richard Scott, BBC News. Almost quarter past four, you're watching uh, BBC News with Ben Brown and Emily Maitlis. And our headlines this afternoon are that the broadcasting regulator Ofcom is to investigate Russell Brand's Radio 2 show over a series of offensive phone calls made to the Faulty Towers star Andrew Sachs. The pair have apologised, but some MPs are saying they should be sacked. Jurors at the Rhys Jones murder trial have been shown photographs of the gun allegedly used to kill him. And there's been a sharp rise in the number of homes being repossessed. Figures for June were more than 70% higher than a year ago. And in sport, the former England captain Tony Adams said he's honoured to be named as the new manager of Portsmouth. He signed a two and a half year deal. He said he'd been mad to have turned it down. Meanwhile, the former boss Harry Redknapp got the freedom of the town today. You can see what some of the fans think of him now. And ahead of the $20 million match on the pitch, the pitch and floodlighting at Sir Alan Stamford's ground in Antigua has been criticised by the players. I'll have all the details in half an hour. Thanks, Sam. Gordon Brown has called on oil companies to cut the price of petrol at the pumps. His plea comes on the day energy giant BP has reported huge profits. During the three months to September, BP made almost £6.5 billion. Pounds. That's a rise of 148% compared to the same period last year. John Moylan reports. Record profits for one of Europe's biggest oil giants. Between July and September, BP saw profits jump 148% compared with last year. Motorists here in Birmingham know all about records too. For at the same time, they've been paying soaring prices for fuel at BP's garages and elsewhere. They are making billions and billions of dollars where they're not uh, giving away to uh, working man, you know, working people like us, you know, small companies. We are struggling, honestly. Everything's getting dearer and the working class people are just being punished all the time. People wanting cars, I don't know, it's just, I just think we're being ripped off to be honest. But the fact is, BP is in turnaround mode. A year ago, it was still recovering from this fire at its key Texas City oil refinery, which killed 15 workers. Oil leaks in pipelines in Alaska had also hit production and profits. A year on, its main operations are back on track, allowing it to make the most of surging oil. is launching an investigation into phone calls made by the presenters Jonathan Ross and Russell Brand. ...with Felix Leiter, who are two obviously very important Bond characters, are secure. So we can... I ...much of the southeast. It will not feel like an October morning as you head out of the... I was... Uh, <clears throat> I'm very excited. I can't wait to get going. ...and called for a windfall tax on the industry to help families with their fuel bills. That windfall should not just go into their profits and into the coffers of the privileged few shareholders. 